Hi! Welcome to my first ever costume tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to look like a certain ice queen. Without further ado, let's go. Er, let it, let it go? Um, keep on watching. Without ice powers, I'm going to need a couple of materials to do this. For her undershirt, I'm going to be using a mesh bodysuit, silver trim, and some rhinestones. For the bodice, I'm going to be using a corset, square shaped sequin fabric, bra pads, blue paint, blue ribbon, and an optional snowflake brooch. I happen to already own an old ugly Halloween store costume of Elsa, and I will be reusing the cape and skirt off of this, but instead you could be using a prom skirt from Goodwill and a yard of sheer snowflake fabric. Okay, hi, so I got my corset and this is what it looks like. And I was thinking I could use these old bra pads to add a little more height onto the top, that way it's a little more modest. Okay, so I have now pinned on the little bra paddings where I like them. Um, so it raises this up a good bit and since this is the underwire of the bra, it stays nice and against my chest and it's very sturdy. I have just sewn the um, cups on. The sewing isn't like the best quality, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to make sure that they're very secure. This is what the corset looks like so far. The paint didn't cover as much as I wanted, but um, it'll probably do since the fabric that I'm putting it over has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, and I also don't know if I showed you this, but I sewed the uh, corset together up the middle. And so the cape is going to be attached here and here on my corset, so I'm going to lay out my uh, ribbon this long and add two extra inches on either side so it can have some swoop in the back. So. So basically how you would pleat it if you were doing this um, is you have a section of the cape and then you fold it back over once and then over again so you can keep going down the row. Okay so it is now sewed on there. I pinned the fabric on to the corset. I did it off my brother. I just had him wear it and then I pinned it where it looks right and now I tried it on and I made sure that it still looks good on me. So where the pins are, um, it's really hard to see, but where the pins are, I'm just going to put a little needle and thread and just um, hook it onto there. Okay, so here it is. I did my anchoring stitches. They basically just look like this from the side, so all of the blue little dots are points where I sewed the sequin fabric to the bodice. And um, from the front, you can't really notice any of them, which is nice. Um, there are a couple of spaces where you can see them, like over here, but it's um, the same color as the rest of it. So right now I'm gonna try it on, see how it fits. Okay, so here we are with the corset. Um, so this is all the anchor stitches down. I still have quite a bit of um, extra fabric, which I will deal with soon. I have the hot glue gun plugged in. It's been heating up for a while. What I'm gonna try and do is just fold over the edge and glue really close to it. Um, and then I'll probably have a lot of excess to cut off of the fabric. Okay, so here is the top part where the bra is going to be, so I need to do the sweetheart neckline. I did a slit at the top, so these are now two pieces, um, and I left some extra space just because I still wanted it a little more modest, so this is going to give me that effect, and so when I fold it over, um, it's going to make the sweetheart neckline and add that little bit so it's not as um, dramatic of a plunging neckline. Okay, so I cut off all of these sequins along 
this edge. Now I have pinned on the ribbon where I like it. Okay, so I have sewed on the stitches now. So now this ribbon is attached and it kind of just hides the edge between the bodice being exposed and the fabric. This is what it looks like now. All of the sequins from the inside are taken off so that when it lays against my skin, nothing's poking me and the same thing happened up there. So now I'm gonna try it on, make sure that everything looks good and we can probably move on to the next piece. Okay, so this is the finished Elsa corset. Um, I think it looks really nice. I definitely think that the top has a really clean line. It's not sticking out anywhere and it's very secure. So, um, probably gonna work on the cape and the skirt next. So I found these in my sewing toolkit and I thought it would be kind of cool to use them to attach the cape onto the back of the corset that way it can be detachable. So how you would do it is you have a couple of pieces, the stud, the backing, and the little prongy piece. You're going to take the first prongy piece and you're going to put it on the um, outside of the cape and you got to stick it through. And then there's this piece. This is the front and this is the back. So this is the part that the prongs are gonna go into. I'm just going to use a water bottle to smash it in together. So I just super glued them on and they are both equidistant away. Okay, great. So this is what the cape would look like on. It's attached through the snaps. This is some trim that I found in the basement in my craft area and I thought that it would be perfect to add onto the shirt. Basically, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pin it. Now it is um, on all the way around. So, Okay, so I just want to show you this. This is why you um, pin it while you're wearing it because see how this is sagging out? That's because when I wear it, it stretches out just a little bit. Um, and so if I had pinned this on when I was sewing it, it would lose that stretch. I'm just going to go through and sew it as is. Um, when you do that, all you have to do is just stretch out the backing and sew it accordingly. Okay, so this is the leotard tried back on and um, the trim looks really, really good. And so that is what the shirt looks like. I'm kind of just figuring it out as I go. I think it looks good and I kind of like it simplistic. Okay, so I decided to do a little something on the arms. I found this at Walmart today and I thought it was just gorgeous. I'm gonna use mine as like a little brooch. And so Elsa doesn't technically have one, but I just think that this is like a cute, fun detail. And I feel like with cosplay and costuming, you can have fun and interpret the character how you want. Okay, so we've come a really long way. So this is the um, really cheap Halloween costume dress yet again. And I'm gonna use the skirt off of this because personally, I feel like the skirt is the least exciting part of a costume. It's obviously you don't have to buy this dress to do the Elsa cosplay. Like it's actually, I'm just using it for materials basically. Um, you can also find like maybe a fabric like this that you like or a skirt from Goodwill and then just use it for this. So um, there's plenty of options that you can do um, and it kind of depends on your interpretation of Elsa. Okay, so here's the skirt. I just cut it off like exactly how it was. Okay, so this is my first ever try on of the costume. Um, so I put on the undersuit first and then I put on the skirt and then I put on the bodice and I would have attached the cape, but this is basically my Elsa costume. Oh my goodness, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching my video. I think it turned out really great. And if you like this content, you'll probably like the Elsa wig tutorial or the Anna costume tutorial that are coming up soon. Or you might even like the Anna makeup tutorial that's already on this channel. So subscribe so you don't miss a beat. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.